The second thing I want you to know about social media is that it's a constant barrage of things to compare yourself to. And we all know that the things you're going to compare yourself to are not real life. They're everyone else's highlights. So how many of you have been on a carriage ride in New York City? Anyone done that where you're like with a horse and carriage? Okay, we got, we got one. Um, horses don't belong in New York City, right? They're, I don't know if they're wild animals, they're domesticated animals, but horse, yeah, they're domesticated, but they belong on a prairie, right? They don't belong in the middle of a city. So horses have, obviously, they're big, uh, they're big, they're strapped into the cart, and they have these things next to their heads. Does anyone know what these things are called that they wear right next to their eyes? I think they're called binders or blinders. Yeah, exactly. They're called blinders. Does anyone know why the horses have blinders on when they're walking through the city? Anyone have a guess? Yeah, because of all the distraction, right? The lights, the sounds, the skyscraper, the fire truck, the police car, the dogs, people walking their dogs. There's just like so much chaos going on for an animal who's trying to do this one job of just like walking this cart straight, right? Can you imagine being a horse in New York City? All this stuff to distract you? It's, it's distracting for a human being. It's, it's like it's a crazy, amazing city, but there's a lot going on. Social media, for all of you and for me, is like being a horse in New York City without blinders on. Everyone pours into your feed and they overwhelm you with, look at, my, look at my life, look how beautiful I am, look how successful I am, look how great I am at football, look how amazing I am at basketball, look how successful that I am, look at my book that I've written, look at the video that I've made, look at all my talents, right? And it's gonna overwhelm you, it overwhelms me. Like I said, I've written four books. I have a pretty good YouTube following. I've, I feel pretty good about the things that I've accomplished. I think I'm successful. But in 30 seconds on social media, I can find someone 10 years younger than me who's got 5 million subscribers, who lives in a house I could never afford, who drives cars that I would probably never buy but also couldn't afford, and is essentially just like everything I am times 10, except he's also 10 years younger than me, right? We can all find people like that. So as soon as you start feeling good about yourself, oh, there it is. Here's a million people who can do more. And so the way you give yourself blinders to prevent all that distraction from coming in and to protect your confidence, as we mentioned earlier, is to take action and delete the apps from your phone. Now, I'm sure you're not going to delete the apps altogether. I highly recommend it. I don't do personal social media. I do my business social media. So you'll find me on TikTok and on Instagram and on, on YouTube. But that's just me teaching. Uh, you know, baseball and confidence and like mental skills. I don't put my personal stuff out there and I don't follow anyone either. And the big thing that you need to know for the rest of your life that if you, if you have bad habits that you want to reduce or get rid of, and all of us do, you have to put friction between you and that thing. I'll give you an example. In your fridge, if you have a healthy food item that you want to eat and an unhealthy food item that you don't want to eat, if you put the unhealthy thing in the front and the healthy thing in the back, which one are you going to eat first? The unhealthy thing, right? You have the apple and you have a Snickers bar. I don't know why you refrigerate a Snickers bar, but maybe you're weird like that. You put the Snickers bar in the back, you're probably not going to eat it because you forget that it's there. The apple's in the front, so there it is. You grab it and you eat it. If you don't want to eat something, you don't want to consume as much social media, you don't want to distract yourself with other things, you have to put friction between you and that thing. And that means... Deleting the app from your phone, so you can't just, with one click, pull it up and be scrolling. Delete the app, then you have to go through what? Your web browser, you have to enter your stupid password, and that's the most annoying thing ever. Then you have to you know, redo the password because you forgot it. And it's, a, it's a big thing. And it, what does it do? It says, well, I'm not even going to bother. I'm not even going to bother logging on, right? Or you just save social media for your laptop. You only, you only go on the desktop, whatever it is. That's like the main way I consume social media. And when you put that friction on it, it's going to greatly reduce the amount of distractions that are going to come in, things that you're going to compare yourself to, and the way that's going to bring you down your self-esteem and your confidence and minimize your accomplishments.